So in the previous videos we have, are going to the chapter number 9. In that we have just completed the exercise question number 1. Okay, now going towards question number 2, 3 and 4 which I have given you in your homework. Okay, let us see one by one. In that question number B that is exercise. Exercise question B that is fill in the plans. Question B first one. Okay. In that a a or an dash crawls on a slim substance called mucus. So snake. In the first one, the answer will be snail snail second one the dash helps a fish to change its direction we know that it tail just helps a fish second one that is tail fin Third one, the dash helps a fish to move up and down while swimming, that is swimming bladder. Third one, that is swimming bear bladder. Fourth one, dash have powerful chest muscles. They have powerful chest muscles that are birds. Okay. Fifth one. The joints between the bone of our skull are dash joints that are fixed joints. Fifth one. That is fixed joint. Okay. Fixed joint. Moving towards question number C. The group of animals that have backbone. The animals which have backbone are known as vertebrates. First one that is vertebrates. Second one, the body parts into which an earth forms divided is the body is divided that is known as segment. Segment. The hard cover covering of a snail's body that is shell. Third one, that is shell. Fourth one, the organ that shift helps a fish to move upward and downward are downward while swimming, they are known as swimming blader. Swim blader. Okay. Fifth one, the part of the skeleton that surrounds and protects the spinal cord. That is backbone. Backbone. Okay. And here we have just completed the chapter number 9. And we will move towards new chapter. First of all, you write down the answers of this and just give you some time for that. Chapter. 
that is chapter number 10 So first of all, what is habitat? We will see that. Okay, what is habitat? We have just listened uh, that from anyone's mouth that uh, you have a habit like this. You have a habit like this. We are just, we are also just habited with this environment. Why? If you just live in Gujarat over here and you know that here the temperature, the maximum temperature in summer that is 45 degree maximum that there is no temperature means 40 to 45 degree maximum temperature is there in Gujarat and the lowest temperature is about 15 to 20 degree Celsius. Okay, so you are just habited for this temperature and if someone says you just go and live in the Jammu and Kashmir, then the average temperature means in the day temperature, the highest it will be 20 degree, 20 to 25 degree means here in the winter, the temperature is what 20 to 25 degree in there, in summer also the highest temperature will be 20 to 25 degree and lowest temperature it will go in the minus. So you can't live there, you just feel cold over Jammu Kashmir. So you are habit, you have habit to live over here. So this is your habitat. Okay. Have you just uh, see student what I am just telling to say you that you are just habitat over this environment, this temperature. So you can't live there. If, if you just live uh, one or two years or more than that, then you also are just habit to live there. Okay. Now let us uh, see some of the things. See here, the habitat of an animal or a plant in this in the area where it lives in nature. The habitat of earth can be grouped as terrestrial and aquatic and organisms needs its requirement of food, shelter and water from its habitat. Figure 10.1 map of various habitat on earth you can see a map is given here you can see in the pink the region color the things which are there in pink are the taiga forest means boreal forest yellow that are deserts green light green that is grasslands dark green that is tropical rainforest and this whitish color that is polar regions, the dotted line that is temperate forest, then the line, a brown color line that are mountains and the dotted blue color line that is relief and the, uh, the small lines, blue color lines that are rivers. Okay, so this is given in your map. Okay, and let us begin by learning about some terrestrial habits means terrestrial habits means forest grasslands deserts mountains polar region okay so from that we will start with the forests so first of all here you can see forest see so before that here um, it is given that the habitat the habitat Habit the habit of an animal or a plant is the area. 
where it leaves where it leaves in nature the habitat is what is a uh, habitat of an animal or a plant is the area where it lives in the nature which are just close with this nature so that is habitat then after moving towards the forest and here the earth habitat is divided into three groups that are terrestrial aquatic okay this two groups it is divided in terrestrial it is a uh, forest grassland desert mountain and polar region in aquatic ocean seas lakes river and ponds okay so here first of all we will start with forest so forest a forest is a usually a large area covered with a variety of trees and plants so what is forest if someone ask you that what is a forest then what you have to say a forest forest is usually a large area large area covered with a variety variety of trees and plants okay what is forest if someone ask you that what is forest and what you have to say forest is usually large area covered with a varieties of trees and plants okay and also forest there will be varieties of animals birds all the things will be there okay but they live in here based on the temperature and the amount of rainfall there are three major types of forest found in found on the earth means the forests are divided further into three types according to what according to the temperature amount of rainfall this both the <coughs> forests are divided into three parts which are the let us see the first one that is tropical forests second one temperate forest temperate forest and the third one that is boreal forest boreal forest okay so here first of all we will start with the tropical forest okay so what are tropical forest tropical forest are found between the equator and the two tropic that is tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn there are several kinds of tropical forest a type of this which which receives maximum amount of rainfall and is near the equator is called the tropical rainforest tropical rainforest is a very heavy rainfall they have a hot and humid climate around the year a rich variety of plants and animals are found in this forest orchids veins mosses and ferns are common plants found in tropical rainforest a variety of animals such as bats gorillas monkeys jaguars sloths macaws toucans and a variety of insects are found in this rainforest most trees found here are evergreen so here 
what is tropical forest i have read that so tropical forest are found first of all see a tropical forest what is tropical forest i am just writing that tropical forest tropical forest are found tropical forest are found between the equator equator and equator and the two tropics that are the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn tropic of capricorn capricorn okay so where are the tropical forests are found then what you have to say tropical forests are found in between the equator and the two tropic of the two tropic that the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn that are known as tropical forest okay here you can see in the map you can see in the page number 110 there is a map given here see here the green dark green dark green color all the things are there that is tropic or tropical forest is you can see there is an equator tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn which are passed you can see a dotted line from the middle of the map and above it is tropic of cancer and down is tropic of capricorn in between these three are there they are known as tropic or forest is okay in that tropical rain forest is in that tropical rain forest is here in that also there are several kinds of forest okay a type of this which receives maximum amount of rain in is near the equator is called the tropical tropical rain forest tropical rain forest means which are near the equator and receives more and more rain over the year then they are known as tropical rain forest here tropical rain forest receives very heavy rainfall they have a hot and humid climate round the year a rich variety of plants and animals are found in this forest orchids weeds mosses and ferns are common plants found in the tropical rain forest a variety of animals such as bats gorillas monkeys jaguars sloths macaws toucans and a variety of insects are found in the rain forest most trees found here are ever green means all the trees which are there are green only ever green plants and trees are there and now we are just going towards the next types of forest that is temperate forest so what is first of all temperate forest let us see that students but we will see only the introduction of the temperate forest because uh, there is enough uh, not enough time for that okay now here what is temperate forest is here you can see parts of eastern northern america northern eastern asia and western and central europe have a temperate forest temperate forest again are of many kinds we will discuss temperate de deciduous forest here the rainfall is even through the year this forest have well defined summer and winter season most we found are here are delicious in nature the de deciduous trees shed all the leaves once a year in response to change the season leaves of most trees are seen to change their color in the autumn season okay maple and oak are commonly found trees here 
foxes, blade eagles, and black bears are found here. So temperate region. Here the summer and the winter season is are found, and the leaves just changes their color to change the season. So these are the temperate forest. And further in detail, we will study in the next video. So we will keep up to here only. And in today's homework is nothing. Today you don't have any homework. Okay, students. We will meet in the next video. Bye, students.